This episode of Fake It Till You Make It Art School is made possible with the help of coffee. Tips are greatly appreciated and help keep the show running. Welcome back to Fake It Till You Make It Art School, a bi-weekly show about art through the perspective of a learning art student. Today's episode is about Watership Down. Watership Down is a Netflix exclusive series that is based on the same book by Richard Adams. The story involves a group of rabbits being forced out of their homes because of human activity and they have to form a new warren. Okay, there's much more to it as it does deal with the themes of death, sacrifice, and even fascism. It's only four episodes long and I know you guys have nothing else to do. For the sake of this episode, I will not be comparing this to the book or any other adaptation. I am simply going to look at the 2018 series as its own thing. Since this show is about art, the animation will be the focal point for this episode. Unfortunately, the animation is Watership Down's weaker aspect. The movie is done entirely with 3D animation, which, depending on the type of person you are, you're either running out of the door or you're very... meh about it. I'm sure the animators gave it their all, but it just... gets bad. There are quite a few moments in the animation where the rabbits look like plastic dolls, especially when they're moving. And the dog in particular looks like absolute garbage. He looks like something that would belong in a PS3 game. There's a reason why you don't see many 3D animated features involving animals, and if you do, they're more cartoony and stylized in nature. Fur is one of the most difficult and expensive things to animate in 3D, and if done wrong, it can look cheap. That's what happens when you push realism to its limit in 3D animation. You wind up with something that looks real, but it isn't, and that can be unsettling. This is called the Uncanny Valley. A good example of this would be humanoid androids. They look real, but there's something off about them. However, there are moments when the animation can be breathtaking, like some of the shots involving the English countryside. Oh, and the beginning. God, the beginning! It tells the creation story of how rabbits were created, and we get treated to this piece of animation. It emulates shadow puppetry and was the only segment done in 2D. Although I am not really sure about how they went about with it, my only assumption is that they use puppets for the 2D segment. Puppet animation refers to when a puppet is created out of many pieces and they are rigged to be animated. Think of it as digital stop motion. A lot of programs are capable of doing puppet slash rigging animation like Adobe After Effects, Adobe Animate, Toon Boom, and Moho. Overall, would I recommend this to people? Totally. Even though the animation can be weak at times, the story is strong overall. It goes to show that you can have bad animation, but if your story is strong, then you can hook someone into it. Toy Story is a perfect example of this. While the animation may be asked by today's standards, people still come back to it because it had a strong story behind it. I'll possibly go over this topic in another episode. I don't think the series is as bad as people make it out to be. Sure, there are some things to criticize, but complaining about an adaptation not sticking to the source material is just counterproductive. It's inevitable for source material to not be translated well into the big screen. Things get omitted or cut or added for a multitude of reasons, whether it be time, direction, artistic licensing, etc. Whether or not you read the book or watched the other adaptations, I give it a look. If you're looking for something involving adventure with wild animals, then this should tickle your fancy. Come on, come on, we can't go away. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider supporting me on Coffee. Tips are greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing to my channel. What are your thoughts on the 2018 version of Watership Down? Let me know in the comments below, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.